great so let me take bangalore let me take ranchi okay varanasi okay chetan kumar is also we are all indian people in this class correct and let's take mumbai and uh, okay let us take one more city uh kolkata all right so we have taken these cities if we write type over here see so it is what it is a list next we can do what we can append it with uh, haryana print the updated list all right we can extend it with katak bhagalpur faridabad and haryana right faridabad haryana and one more new delhi new delhi new delhi so this is what our next we'll do what we'll check for the length of the 11 cities we are from 11 different cities all right next what we'll do is that let's say one of them shifted to bangalore from let's say uh mumbai one of uh, or uh, let's say haryana one of them shifted to bangalore so we'll do what we'll pop out bangalore sorry haryana all right i'm sorry i'm i'm sorry i'm really sorry so what we'll do is that we'll remove haryana all right so this is what it is now one of them shifted back to haryana so what we'll do is that haryana is at which place let us print the updated list all right so let us print haryana was between faridabad and new delhi the length of the list is 10 that means uh, now current list is 10 that means the haryana was at the 9th position so what we'll do is that we'll write over here uh haryana and i'll write over here as what 9 comma haryana so as you can see okay haryana inserted twice no worries sure. so let us do what let us uh, use the copy function let us use it in this list only let's say i have taken a list d so it has done what it has copied all the elements of list c into list d so it does what it basically copies all the elements of list in an other list so as you can see it has done this next we'll see what next we'll see the clear function all right next we'll see the clear function so we have copied all our data into another data another variable so we can clear this now this c is the elements of c are no longer available so that is what a clear function does it next we'll do what we'll uh, check the del command what it will do is that it will delete the c variable entirely from the root level so if we print c now it will give us error name error it will say that c is not defined at all so this is what it is this is what clear copy and del command does so let us move ahead further let us uh, so we discussed what discussed to copy we discussed uh, index we discussed clear now we discussed remove we discussed extend all right let us discuss other other uh, basic functions of what of list so this is what it all right 
let us come back to a let us print a now we'll see what we'll check out we'll check out the uh, your uh, reverse function sort function of a list all right we'll check out the reverse function and sort functions of list so this is what it is all right let us check for a reverse function first so a dot reverse So this is what it is, alright. A dot reverses what? A dot reverses. It reverses the entire list. It reverses the entire list. As you can see, with the without any specific order, it will just uh, reverse the entire position, position wise. So whatever is on the last position will become will be on the first position. Whatever is on the first position will be on the last position whatever is in the second position will be in the second last position and so on right let us uh, talk about uh, sort so sort does what sort sorts all the numbers all the numbers in what in ascending order based on their value so one will come first followed by two followed by five uh, then seven then eight seven so like that so a dot sort we uh print a and as you can see it has sorted in ascending order it has sorted in ascending order so this is what it is it has sorted in ascending order all right next what we'll do is that we'll uh, check sort in descending order sort in descending order all right how do we do that so let us have a look at it so a dot sort reverse is equals to true reverse is equals to true all right so reverse is what reverse is a parameter a reverse is a parameter all right and uh, if, we, if we write it equal to true it will do what it will sort the list in descending order all right as you can see it has sorted the list in Descended 25, 17, 15, 11, 8, 7, 5, 4, 2, 1. It has sorted the list in descending order. So we we uh, these are all the function of lists. These are all the sort, reverse, remove, pop, insert, index, extend, copy, clear, append. Only one function is left that is count. So let us do one. Let us create. Let us create a new list as C. Uh, let us write 5 comma 5 comma 5 comma 7 comma 7 comma 1 comma 1 or 5 comma 5 comma 5 all right comma 4 so comma 2 let us print all right two commas are there right let us print the list let us do what type c list all right let us uh, write print the length of the list we have already printed the list up all right so this is what it is all right uh, next what we'll do is that we'll write c dot count c dot count five so it will give me what it will give me four why because five occurs four times in the list c if I write uh, C dot count as a seven, so it will show me what three. Similarly, C dot count sorry two. So this is what this is what the count function does.